Hi, this is Joe McNally for Adorama TV, and today we're going to talk about simple character lighting. Adorama TV presents Photo on the Go with Joe McNally, where you'll go behind the scenes to see how great photos are made. Hi, this is Joe McNally for Adorama TV. The reason I go to Adorama, it's a real store with real people, and I've got friends and associates there who have guided me through all my camera purchases for years. Today we're going to talk about character lighting. Here's the first ingredient you need. You need a character. Uh, if you look over my shoulder, you can see the shot that we're going to talk about today and deconstruct. And, uh, you know, it's really helpful that uh, this gentleman looks like Keith Richards, okay? Characters, you know, you can't help but want to photograph them. They have the, the history, the roadmap to their life is right in their face, you know. And so this particular gentleman is uh, kind of kitted out in a wonderful way with the top hat and uh, the cigarette smoke. All of that stuff is working for you in terms of photographic atmosphere. So the thing that you don't want to do is have your light screw this up because there's a good picture here sitting there in front of you. You just have to bring the appropriate light to the party. In this instance, he's in darkness and he's dressed darkly, right? He's got the deep blue thing going on in terms of wardrobe. So what do I have to do? I have to not only light him, I also have to separate him from the background. So it speaks to a main light and a rim light. Here's the subject, okay? We'll uh, diagram this in a minute, but the, the rim light is sort of behind him and the main light is off to the side. So let's deconstruct this a little bit, okay? Two light setup, right? Let's start with the camera uh, position in this particular instance. It's a long lens, okay? 70 to 200 millimeter lens, okay? We're down in here, say. I use the 70 to 200, very valuable lens for portrait work. Great set of millimeter lengths for the human face. Then my subject is here in this chair, okay? All right? And he has got the top hat, okay, going on. He's got, and got this sort of thing here. And, Legs, okay, he's got the cigarette smoke going up this way. Okay, not a particularly well-drawn human being, but you get the idea. Backlight first, let's start there for now, okay? The backlight's very important in this setup because as, as I mentioned, he's got a dark attire, you know, going on, and he's on blackness, so I have to rim him out. So I'm taking a Group B light, which is not a background light, it's a rim or a kicker or a fill light, okay? You could call it any one of those terms. I prefer rim because what it does, it puts a rim of light right along this edge of him. It separates him from all of this blackness in the background, all right? So it needs to do its job. It needs to define at least some of his shape. Then my main light, okay, uh, is over here. This is a group A light. My main is always group A, okay, speed light right here, and it is very directional. It's firing at him from the side. So those are my basic lighting, you know, positions, if you will. And I soften them, I gel them from here, but that's the basic setup. So modifying these lights, they're basically just raw light right now. As I said, this is group A over here, main light, group B over here. Again, referring to group B, I want a little more charisma, so following the um, mood of his apparel, I gelled it blue. I put a deep blue gel, a theatrical gel, on this light right here, which turns this into a blue highlight. Part of the reason driving that is I used his cigarette smoke. It's part of his character. He kind of, you know, smokes a lot. So I just let that happen. And cigarette smoke drifting into blue light always has kind of an interesting atmosphere. It kind of feels like late night, feels like a little, you know, nightclub sort of thing. And he's a character, so, you know, uh, I went with that flow. But the hard light on him is not working so well, so I wanted to fuse that light. So what I oftentimes refer to this as is interrupting the flow of light. You've got hard light coming at him here. So I have a VAL, a voice activated light stand, a helper, okay, with a tri-grip diffuser, okay. Tri-grip diffuser is triangular shaped and she is holding that diffuser 
very close to him, just on the edge of the frame. So I interrupt the flow of hard light. It almost like it comes to a screaming stop right at the diffuser, hits that diffuser, and then just dumps itself on the subject in a very soft and wonderful way. I oftentimes find that maneuvering, you know, even if you have a light 30 feet away, maneuvering a, a softener or a diffuser in close to your subject before the light hits them really produces a wonderful quality of light. So these two lights, very simple setup, they're both being commanded by an on-camera speed light right here on the hot shoe, firing a commander signal, obviously, picking up the sensors on this and this, and I'm able to tell them how to behave. This light obviously needed to be upped in power because why? There's a diffuser interrupting it, so it needs to power through that diffuser. I'm able to do that from the camera, group A. Group B, that light pretty much remained the same. The first iteration of it without the gel was kind of hot and blown out. But once I put the gel on it, it subdued and it seemed to go smoother into the cigarette smoke and whatnot. So I kind of left that light alone. The key to the job to me, okay, is the diffused quality of light on my subject. It's directional but soft. The light's coming from the side through this tri-grip. And for this, I used this. It's a big tri-grip. Uh, it's actually one I designed for the last light company. And it has reflector sleeves, and it also has a blackout sleeve that has a port in it where you can take this big source and make it into a small source. In this instance, I used the entire swatch of the diffusion because I wanted it to cover my subject in a wonderful way. And as always, the tri-grips, as you know, come down into a small package. All right, once again, Joe McNally for Adorama TV, talking about simple character lighting on location. And speaking of characters, okay, there's a whole bunch of them at Adorama in New York City. Okay, in the pro department, you've got Daniel and you've got Ephraim. Go seek these guys out. They are wonderful characters. They are incredibly knowledgeable. They're super funny, but they're also super knowledgeable. And they can guide you in the right direction for almost anything that you're interested in in purchasing for your workflow, your lighting, your cameras, your lenses, anything at all really, Ephraim and Daniel in the pro department are go-to guys. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. Place your order by 8 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.